Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing with me, Shira Star Hobby. Um, the mail lady was very gracious and <laughs> brought me two packages today, uh, Monday, December 11th. But of course I will be uploading them at different times. Um, I just wanted to get them filmed so that I could get pictures and all that jazz. Sorry for the noise. Um, I should have taken that off before I started the video. So, if you guys have been following me for a while and you guys have been watching my newest videos lately, you will know that um, I just did an unboxing of a clothing haul from a particular artist from the Ukraine that goes by the name Lucy. Um, her Instagram handle is at Lucisis or Lucises. I'm not sure how to say it. Um, but she, I had mentioned in that video that I had ordered a one of a kind teddy bear from her because, um, she posted a picture on her Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I would love one of these bears. And then she messaged me and said that they're all available. This is the price. Did you want one? And I said, absolutely. Um, and this kind of got brought on because um, if you guys are into Blythe and you guys follow a lot of different Blythe artists, you know that there's an artist out there in Japan, I believe, who goes by McCain or Mikane or Mi, Mi Kane. I'm not sure how, how it's said uh, properly, but um, I was watching Allison's unboxing video of her Fay by McCain or Mikane or however you say it. And I was like, you know, these are really hard to get and they're really kind of expensive. They're way out of my price range. Um, and I wanted a Blythe friend that was like a Fay, but didn't break my budget. So this bear to me is like that because it's one of a kind. It's handmade. It wears clothing like the Fays do. Um, but these one of a kind teddy bears, I think are just as special as those Fays. Um, this artist is amazing. She makes Blythe clothing. She customizes Blythe's and sells them as well. And then she's got her one of a kind teddy bears. Now she had a bunch of them and I'll show them all here. She had, I want to say five or six different ones. And of course, if I had more money, <laughs> I probably would have gotten a couple. I really wanted the orange one that looked kind of like a little fox because sue me. Um, which to be honest, I think, no, I bought this after sue me. It must've been after sue me. Um, but anyway, then the, the green princess one with the pink hearts was super super adorable so here are the stickers very sweet very nice box um again i wasn't expecting this to be delivered today so i'm kind of excited that i got both packages at once oh my gosh okay all right so i picked the purple one because purple is my favorite color but like I said, if I had more money, I, <laughs> I would have grabbed a couple more if I had it. So there is her business card again. Very nice. Um, let's, let's change your eyes to me. You're looking in the wrong direction here. Okay, let's see. Okay. And then, there we go. So very curious, aren't you, to see who is in this box. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Wow, see, and that feels good. So it's like a nice weighted material. Um, I have been looking into possibly trying to make my own type of a rag doll type of thing where she could be friends with the Blythes and she can be on display with the Blythes, but she's more of a textile doll than anything um i'm just kind of playing with with different ideas right now looking at different patterns and whatnot but so she packaged him very sweetly 
This is really cute. This little clothespin with a little snow elf on there. It's pretty adorable. Okay, and then, oh, it's an actual little, little bag. Oh, <gasps> guys, I'm so excited. Okay. <gasps> oh, the sweet baby. See, now in my head, I guess I pictured him a little bit bigger than this, but <laughs> look at him. <gasps> Isn't he cute? And I, I want to say she probably makes the clothes for them, too. Okay, so I can't read that because it's, like, probably Ukrainian. Uh, I can't even. I don't even know where to start with, with that. Thank you for your order. So she sent me, like, a video of him. She, in the video, she, like, removed his clothes so that I could see, like, what his body looked like. He's perfect for this winter that we're having. It's like snow raining right now. <laughs> Look at his hat comes off and everything. Oh my gosh, I love him. <gasps> He's got little shoes, like really nice ones. And I'm, I'm pretty sure his arms are movable. Yeah, his arms move and his legs move. I believe you can sit him down. Um, she, the artist behind this bear and the clothing, um, Lucy, she was recently, this past weekend, there was the, um, Evento Blythe Madrid, uh, the Blythe show in Madrid, Spain, um, and she was there and she had her own table cause she was a, a vendor. So she had, you know, clothing I items and then she had, I want to say she had two or three of these, so I'm I'm not positive on the availability of the bears. I don't know how often she makes them. I want to say she kind of does, like, she'll make, like, you know, six or seven at a time, and then she'll sell them one by one or however it works. Um, so as far as availability, I don't know if she has any left. I don't know if she has anything left over from the show. Um, so if you are interested in getting one of these amazing little bears, I would probably message her very quickly um, <laughs> because, and I'm not trying to sound, um, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to, to sound snobbish or anything, but every time... I post something on my YouTube channel. Um, if I do an unboxing of a specific artist or whatever, um, I always like to share their social medias and their profiles and things like that so people can find them easier. Um, and then they end up selling out of whatever it is that I made the video of. Um, so if she does have some of these bears left, I would message her very quickly and see if she, you know, if they're still available. They are so amazingly priced and I paid her directly through PayPal as friends because that's what I prefer to do, especially for our artists. Um, and because she's in the Ukraine, that's possible. You don't, there's no barriers, there's no rules, there's no, you know, going through different paying proxies or whatever. So, um, I did, I, I um, she, the, the doll, the the bear was a hundred dollars even with fifteen dollars shipping. Um, at least that's 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 what I paid. I don't know if the prices have changed or whatever, but I mean that is a really good deal. I think I I just I'm blown away that that he was only a hundred dollars. I I could seriously if I had the money I probably would have bought them all and then <laughs> and then this would have been a much bigger unboxing. Um, but I can't wait to photograph him with the girls. And oh, I'm so excited he's here. He is so perfect. And I want to say that the other jacket and the other outfit that I put on Inga in the video kind of matches. So they're going to look so super cute together. I'm like in love with him. 
he's perfect and he's perfect for this weather that we're having right now he's got his hat he's got his scarf he's got his little coat and he's good to go so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, I will be taking lots and lots of pictures and putting them on at the end and um, I hope that you guys will check out Lucy um, on her Etsy shop her Instagram she is amazing her and her sister are masters at sewing clothes for Blythe and knitting because her sister does the, the the knitting which I don't know if her sister did this knitting maybe she might have um, I'd have to ask her and find out but I hope that you guys will check them out and give them support because we love our U Ukrainian artists. Um, we love our international artists. They're all so mega talented. Um, and so I hope that um, you guys will check them out if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.